So at this point we have our Symphony 4 project up and running and we've added all the dependencies that we're going to need and we have FOSREST bundle functioning on a basic level. Now as it stands our functionality is still limited and we'll need to add in various extra bits of code and configuration to make things behave as required. If you haven't already done so, please start your web server. I'm using the Symphony web server, but you can use the built-in PHP server if you prefer. I'm just going to do this with a Bing console server start. And to begin with, we're going to run our BHAT test suite, specifically the health check feature. Now, why I like to start with the health check feature is that it's really basic. There's very little that can actually go wrong here. So if it fails, then we know that something quite fundamental is wrong with our system. Now, as the error here is related to the database, the simplest thing to do to begin with is simply disable the before scenario hook that cleans up our database. We don't even need to interact with the database at this point. We're not working with an entity in any way. So we might as well just eliminate that from the process. And you can see now we're getting a little bit further we're getting back a 404 when we should be expected to get a 200, but that's to be expected as at this stage, we don't have a route that matches the path of slash ping. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and make a new controller for which we'll use the maker bundle. So I'm going to use the command bin console, make controller with the argument of health check controller. Now, just like in our previous implementation, because we're using the web profiler, Twig is enabled in our project and therefore the maker bundle has created us the templates health check index HTML .twig. We don't need this, feel free to delete it. So I'm going to jump into the health check controller now and we have the index method created by default. So I'm going to start by changing the path to match slash ping. And whilst not essential, I'm going to change the method name from index to ping. Now, one interesting thing here is we're still extending Symphony's framework bundle controller. So it can get away without the suffix of action here. But when we switch over to extending the FOSREST controller, we will need to switch back to using the action suffix on our controller method names. For the method body itself, I'm gonna keep things as simple as possible here. I'm gonna return a new JSON response containing just the string of Pong. This is identical to our raw Symphony 4 JSON API. At this point, we aren't using any of the functionality of FOSREST bundle. So given what we already know, it should be no surprise at this point that we have a working slash ping endpoint and that when we send in our health check feature test, we get a pass. So you may be happy with this. I mean, after all, it passes. And if you are, you may not need FOSREST bundle. We're now going to change our implementation to use the conventions provided by FOSREST bundle. Rather than extending from the Symphony framework bundle controller, we're going to switch out to extend from FOSREST controller. If we follow this through with a command click on FOSREST controller, we can see that FOSREST controller does actually extend Symphony's framework bundle controller. However, it defines an extra function for getting the view handler, and we'll come onto this a little later. And also it uses the controller trait from the FOSREST bundle controller namespace, which allows us to customize the view handler and offers us several convenience methods, such as this view, this redirect view, this root redirect view, and so on. And we will use some of these as we go through this course. So back from our detour into the FOSREST controller, I'm going to change the name of the ping method to get. Now I've just said that we need to set this to be get action, but what happens if we forget to add in the action suffix? Well, when we check the router, we're going to get an error. And the problem here is that there is already a get method inside Symphony's framework bundle controller, which we've just seen we are still extending from. But I think it's important that you don't just take my word for this. So let's try and find that. So let's follow through the inheritance chain. We're going to visit FOSREST controller, followed by the Symphony framework bundle controller that FOSREST bundle controller extends from. As of Symphony 4, most of the interesting stuff now happens inside the controller trait. And there we can see that get method with the expected argument of a string of ID. Okay, so let's close all of that down and back inside our health check controller we're now going to add the suffix of action to our get method. This should be sufficient to satisfy the output of a debug router. It's going to get rid of that unused use statement as well. So if we check the output of a Bing console debug router and scroll to the very top there, we can see our ping endpoint is available, but it's available for get, post, put, patch and delete. And we don't want that. We want to restrict it down to just get requests. And at this stage, we still should have a passing test. If you've worked through the previous Symphony 4 implementation, then you'll know we could add the methods option here, setting just get as the only allowable method. And again, at this stage, if we check the output of a debug router, we can see that we're locked down to just a get request. 
Remembering back to our raw Symphony 4 implementation, we saw that we'd do this for every single route that we created. We would always add in a methods option to our routing annotation, describing just the method that we wanted to support for the given controller method. As this is a really common practice, FOS REST bundle provides us some convenience here by way of some more specific annotations. Now these annotations leverage the existing Sensio framework extra bundle annotations and that's why we had to do that composer require annotation in the previous video. Essentially I like to think of these annotations as shortcuts to a lot of the stuff that we're already doing when we're manually defining our routing annotation. Notice that we use FOS REST bundle controller annotations and then for each of our controller methods we're going to use a more specific class from inside that namespace such as here we're using the get annotation. We're going to achieve the same thing here which we can validate by looking at the output of a debug router. The one thing that differs is the name of our route. You can override this by passing in a name option to the get annotation. I don't see any value in doing that at this stage. As we've made a change, it makes sense to send in our test again and we should still see a pass. So in this example, we've made use of manual root definitions. But if we follow a set of naming conventions, then FOS REST bundle can take care of generating routes for us automatically. This means that we won't need the annotations. So we're going to explore this concept further in the very next video.